And I didn't even know this city existed, but apparently it's part of my empire now. <laughs> sure. Thanks, Eleanor. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Civilization VI. And it's a perfectly balanced game, I have to say. My name is Jumbo Pixel, and today we're going to be playing with Eleanor on this, the True Start Europe location. A lot of you guys recommended I try this out after my last Civ VI experiment, so I thought, why not? Eleanor is all about loyalty, and outside of that, she's kind of a garbage leader. Uh, there is an English and a French Eleanor. I'm going to be playing as the French one for no in particular reason, because really what I'm focusing on is my loyalty. Uh, here I am. Uh, feeling mostly good about my starting location. Uh, obviously, I'm going to pop France down, and you can see there's a juicy French settler right next door to me. So I think what we'll probably do is pop this city down right here, and then maybe move our warrior over and take another one? Okay, so one declare war later, and here we have it. Hello, France. It's me, France. I'm here to be the real France, the only France. Thank you very much. And that's one quick, easy settler, thanks to the map. We've got a few loyalty <laughs> uh, uh, difficulties of our own right now, but don't worry, once we get established with this new city, I think we'll probably be away laughing. Uh, looking at the loyalty view, we can see the Gauls are up to our right, and there's some English loyalty coming across the channel. So what I'm going to try and do is span out wide and really increase my own loyalty pressure to try and flip them as quickly as I can. And, oh, okay. Brilliant. Wow, really lucky. Uh, considering Eleanor has a few things around great works, that's a fantastic little bonus for up to pick up, although I don't think we'll actually be using it. So I'm going to grab this, mainly just because it helps my cities grow. I know it's a crap pantheon, but who cares? We're pushing loyalty. Let's do it. Oh, and here we have it, the Void Slingers. I really wanted to get the Void Slingers. Um, because of their wonderful, unique monument. So the monument provides plus one loyalty, and obviously I want to try and make my cities as loyal as I possibly can. The Void Slingers provide this incredible buffed monument that'll basically uh, not necessarily allow me to gain a huge amount of loyalty, but because I'm building the monuments anyway, we may as well make them as good as we can. Let's also swap down, uh, plop down Tiluis, our third city, and start pumping out loyalty across the continent. And as you can see here, the capital of Gaul and Germany, not doing so hot. It looks like they... Oh, and there's a free settler as well. I might try and nab that with my with my scout here. But, I mean, if you just look at these cities. They are already buckling under the pressure. We're barely 15 turns into the game. And down here, you can see that I've also added Madrid and Portugal in. So, oh, no, let's steal this, actually. Uh... He's mad, naturally, because I've just taken his only other hope at surviving. <laughs> and another loyalty outpost down here that'll help us put pressure on the Romans, and also probably work my way down to the Iberian Peninsula too, I think. Oh, oh yep, okay, Gaul is, is dead, somehow. I didn't punch them. <laughs> okay, well, this is, I guess, the loyalty thing coming through. Astrology, mysticism, great, great, da da da. I probably don't want either of those. We'll probably ignore that, considering loyalty is really the only thing I need. Ah, uh, yep, uh, there we have it. It belongs to us soon. It'll be very soon. And we have one capital, and Arkin's gonna take another two turns. Let's have a look on the loyalty view and uh, the loyalty lens. You can see it's Eleanor's French pressure everywhere. Arkin is about to fall next turn. And there we go. Arkin is mine. Another capital captured without a single spear thrown or club whacked. Incredible stuff. Oh, and so yeah, Void Slingers uh, got these guys up and running now. I know I mentioned them earlier, but I forgot. And you can see, bam, there it is. The old god obelisk. Uh, oh, back over here, a free settler. Why not? This is the strat, people. This is the strategy. It's insane. Let's um now use the settler to pop down another Ford loyalty post. I don't really even care much about these cities, to be perfectly honest. I'm literally just reassigning my governor here 
who is the best governor for loyalty, into these cities and using them as Ford outposts. I should add Ford outposts, uh, as I was talking about, uh, for loyalty. Uh, and as you can see, we've hit the golden age. I've turned on those golden, golden ages and dark, dark ages. Uh, and a new government, classic republic, is probably the one that I'll go for, just for the extra amenities. Uh, trying to, I'm not focusing too hard on amenities, because really, as I forward settle these cities, they become loyalty outposts and I don't particularly care. But it is nice to keep my amenities up. And these policies are incredible. I'm going to go for the third one down, this one here, eventually. But I might um, swap in and out of others. But this one provides plus two loyalty with established governors within nine tiles. So the loyalty bonuses are going to be incredible. And I think, oh, yep, yeah, cool. We um, just killed Spain. <laughs> I would say without any bloodshed, but actually now that I think about it, we probably did steal a settler or two, didn't we? Probably. <laughs> Either way, uh, Madrid has fallen, uh, thanks to Bordeaux's Ford Settle. We've got Leon and Toulouse here, and you can see that Portugal and Barcelona are probably going to very quickly fall next. So I will keep Madrid, obviously, another capital secured. And seeing as that policy of mine that provides the extra loyalty uh, also gives culture for wanderers, I thought, eh, may as well build the hanging gardens, right? At this point, I've got about 12 cities. I'm controlling most of the map, which is just continental Europe, true start. So we may as well chuck a few wonders down. I'm, I'm just even completely ignoring the barbs here and just using these policies uh, to my absolute strength. And there's a city I literally didn't know existed literally no idea and it's just flipped to me <laughs> thanks i guess thank you <laughs> sure this will act as a ford outpost for these city states so i'm not mad about it and it's world congress time i have basically no diplomatic power but i mean we'll just see what happens maybe they'll give me culture yep they gave me culture bombs thanks i guess at this point, only half the sieves are even left in the game, but, I mean, sure, why not? And if we have a look at the loyalty view, we can see uh, Leeds has become a free city. <laughs> Unlucky for you, London. Um, uh, looks like she might be trying to settle uh, Bristol or something up north, but we're not too worried about that. Uh, we flick to the loyalty lens, you can see it's full-on Eleanor loyalty everywhere, as far as the eye can see and across the whole European continent. I think if you're after a quick win, this is probably the way to go. Uh, what I might do here uh, also is just sail my boats around, explore a bit more of the map. Not that there's too much left to explore because it is just Western continental Europe, but I'm going to try and establish a Ford outpost against Rome, I think. Okay, it's not going to be a great city, but it'll be here. <laughs> That'll do. And let's plop it down. And there we have it. Our Ford outpost to eventually flip Rome as well. And I think that's probably every sieve covered. I think we've covered everyone off. We've got lots of governors pushing forward pressure onto London. Portugal will flip imminently because of Madrid. And now, Montpellier, we have a Ford established loyalty hub there too to flip Rome and I think that should be everybody. We've got all of our governors assigned. Uh, I'll plop our best one into Montpellier. That'll just speed that um, Roman-Italian colonization through mostly peaceful loyalty up a bit. Uh, and as I flick to the loyalty lens again here, I'm just sort of fiddling around with my governors a bit just to make sure we've got people on the front line. <laughs> front lines have changed totally. It's now loyalty-based, not combat. And I think I'll probably wrap up this video here. We could push through another 20 or 100 turns. But as you can see, as I slowly pan over the might of the French Empire, founded on stolen settlers from a crowded Europe and incredible loyalty that is just flipping every single city to me. Uh, that'll wrap up this Civilization VI perfectly balanced video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like rating and I'll catch you in the next one.